Hi everyone, my name is Serena. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm starting a new vlog and by the title you can tell what this is going to be about. I am reading Hilary Duff's favorite books. I'm not sure if these are her favorite books, but these are books that she has shown on social media, books that she's read. I thought since I love her she's my childhood icon why not read those books and i have done something like this before i've read dua lipa's favorite books or books she was reading two years ago i believe i will link the video down below two years ago that it was a big year for reading celebrity reading like celebrities if you know what i mean i i know there were a lot of those videos going around uh, videos um, by Uncarly or I think his name is Jack, Jack Edwards, I'm pretty sure. They were reading a lot of celebrity books, not books written by celebrities, but books that celebrities were reading. So I decided to do a Dua Lipa one because back then I, I was obsessed with future nostalgia, still love it. I decided why, why not do a sequel since I do not follow a lot of celebrities but i've noticed that hilary duff reads and she posts about it once in a while uh not all the time but like th these are screenshots that i've accumulated over the years and i've also looked on google obviously i looked online and i picked three books just like my previous video i'm picking three books for this video as well and let's just get right into it today by the way is i it's September 19th and I think I posted my first video on this day. It's privated probably, but I think it was either ye yesterday or today. It was around this time and I guess I've been on booktube for seven years now. I did take breaks here and there, but I can't believe after seven years I'm still making videos even though it's not as frequent. But yeah, I just wanted to mention that. I've been here for seven years. So Hilary Duff, as I said, was one of my childhood icons. I loved her. I loved her. I loved the Mary-Kate and Ashley twins, Lindsay Lohan, Anne Hathaway. I loved all of these women back in the early 2000s. And I used to collect all of their films on DVD. I, all of my D Hilary Duff movie DVDs are in Italy. I, I should have taken like a picture or something when I was there this summer, but I have almost every single movie, at least the movie she was in in the early 2000s. The books that I've decided to read for this video are Conversations with Friends by Sally Rooney. I've been wanting to read more by this author because I did read Normal People and really liked it. I know there are a lot of mixed opinions on about her because her writing style is not for everyone, I guess. So I'm curious to see if I'll enjoy this one. Her books are not a lot about plot at all. They're mostly about characters and very flawed characters. So we'll see. I'll get into the synopsises once I start reading these books. But yeah, that's number one. And here's a screenshot of Hilary Duff reading this book. The next book that I decided to read is Educated by Tara Westover. And this is another very popular book that I need to read. I think it's time, especially in the year of nonfiction for me. I've been reading a lot of nonfiction this year. So this is going to be the next one that I read. And this seems very interesting. And I cannot wait to know more about what it's about. And this is what Hillary posted about it on, I think, her story again. Finishing this book I've been reading since our honeymoon. Lastly, I definitely want to read something that I already own. And I found something that I do own that she has read. And that is My Dark Vanessa. I think she also talked about it in an interview. This is what I found online. And she says, some of my mom friends and I formed a book club and we are starting with My Dark Vanessa. After the first few chapters, we are going to have a cocktail hour on Zoom to discuss. So that's why I'm reading this one. I know that this has a heavy topic, so I'm wondering if this is going to be a hard read or not. It's, it probably is because of, you know, what it, it's about. But yeah, those are the three books that I'm going to read 
for this video. I have found others that she posted about on on Instagram, especially like Pachinko. Pachinko, I don't think I'm going to read that because I, I watched the show. I think I'm, I'm just going to stick with the show, even though they're probably so, so different. She also posted about a thriller, I See You, by Claire McIntosh. No One Asked For This is another one she posted about. She also posted about Breathe Less by Amy McCulloch. And I found like other picks here and there. But the three books that I'm reading are actually books that I'm really, really interested in. So I'm so excited for this vlog. I'm going to start off with conversations with friends. And I'm going to let you know my thoughts in the next clip. Hi guys, I am currently almost done with Conversations with Friends by Sally Rooney. It's going by really quickly. I'm reading the audiobook and while I'm reading this audiobook, I am coloring. I bought my first adult coloring book today and I decided to buy it because whenever I'm reading an audiobook, I feel like I have to do something with my hands. So I'm like playing games or whatever. So I, I thought that I'm I should try coloring books and this doesn't take a lot of my mental power. This is the coloring book that I bought and this is the page that I'm coloring. These are my colors and yeah, thoughts, thoughts on this book. So Conversations with Friends is about these two friends, Bobby and Francis, but I'd say that Francis is the main character because a lot of what goes on in the book revolves involves her so these two friends meet this couple melissa and nick and nick starts an affair with francis that's basically what happens in this book it's not very plot heavy at all it's mainly character driven it's about characters it's about humanity and how shitty humans can be and cheating obviously so yeah, I <laughs> I feel like this book is one of those books that you may like or dislike depending on your mood, your stage in life, what you've experienced because you may or may not relate to this in any way. And I feel like in general, I feel like this is a book you either hate or love. So I don't know my feelings about this yet, but let me just say I do not like cheating. So yeah, that that's basically the plot of this book. It's, it's about this young girl, 21 year old girl getting involved with a man in his 30s and she obviously gets attached. So yeah, but I do appreciate how realistic it is, I guess, because it does a good job in representing reality and how people feel and yeah let me just reflect on this and finish the book and i'll let you guys know my final thoughts on it in the next clip i did finish conversations with friends so here are my final thoughts i think i'm giving it three stars because my enjoyment wasn't high but i realized that it's it's not a bad book sally rooney does a really good job at writing flawed characters and being realistic in that sense. So yeah, it's about flawed characters, about young girls going through canon events. In particular, this girl was, her life revolved around a man, which is sad. I wish, I wish she concentrated more on her life since she was going through a lot even in her personal life. I do understand when some people say that this book or her books in general give a little bit of pretentious vibes because there are a lot of like random conversations about like monogamy and communism and feminism and stuff like that so I do understand when some people feel that way but I don't mind it I actually like deep conversations in books I just realized that the title makes sense conversations with friends not a lot happens they have just a lot of conversations between them i did not like the relationship at all and the ending was was abrupt but it made sense because it's a toxic cycle i guess i, I don't want to talk more about it because you know 
spoilers but overall there's not a lot of plot it's just about a bunch of flawed characters and i appreciate the depiction of that so three stars it is who knows maybe if i reread it in the future i'll feel differently about it but that's it that's conversations with friends and i'm not sure what i'm gonna read next but i guess you'll find out in the next clip okay so it's been a while since i've read for this vlog it's December now. Last time I updated you, I think it was October. So let's continue and finish this vlog before the year ends. I am currently reading My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. And I feel so disgusted. Literally, I, I want to vomit. I am on page 82. And... The rage, <laughs> the rage and the disgust is so real. This is about this 15 year old girl. Well, we have a two timeline. It's the same woman, the same girl, 15 years apart, I want to say 17 years apart. So it's set in 2000 when she was 15. And then the other point of view is in 2017 with her 32 year old self okay so in present day a woman has reported the main character's old teacher for sexual assault and she is completely shocked obviously because even though she's 32 she still hasn't processed what actually happened to her uh starting at the age of 15 this relationship that she has had with this man she genuinely thought that this man loved her and we're seeing flashbacks when this all started and oh my god disgusting i just read the first kiss scene and i can't i needed to update you guys and take a break because this is very very infuriating so far and i'm sure she's gonna come to her senses and realize um that this was wrong i hope so at least i really do but we'll see and yeah that's all i have to say about it so far the writing is great i immediately got into the story and it's it's going by quickly so far Hi everyone, it's a new day and I have finished my dark Vanessa. By the way, Hilary Duff is pregnant. We just found out she's pregnant with her fourth child. That's amazing. She makes cute babies, so congrats. And yeah, I I really enjoyed this. I gave it four stars. It is infuriating. It's about grooming. It's about pedophilia. It's about gaslighting the gaslighting in this book is insane no matter what age vanessa is this man has gaslit her so much it's insane but yeah it's infuriating the conversations that they have are very infuriating again i keep saying infuriating because because it is one of the conversations for example they were talking about the fact that girls go through puberty before boys do we all know that that's usually what happens but then Vanessa says that girls usually get their first period starting from the age nine onwards and when she said this this man was so disgusted and shocked saying that he would never do this to a child a nine-year-old child like a 15 year old is not a child so yeah conversations like this but um yeah, it's also about Vanessa getting, um, processing her trauma and her really wanting this to be a love story because she is in her 30s in present day and all she ever knew was this man. She has had other relations, but she's always, her world has always revolved around this man. 
and she desperately needs this to be a love story because she, otherwise she feels like she's wasted her time and when these women came out and accused this man of assaulting them she is in denial and we later discover that the teacher hasn't done the same things that he did to Vanessa to these other girls so in Vanessa's mind she thinks that because he hasn't done the same things with those girls he must have loved her you know but abuse comes in different forms mentally physically and verbally so many different forms so it's about her processing all of that and yeah i really enjoyed it four stars if you want to read about that topic i really recommend this book also we do see in certain scenes that she felt that it was wrong that certain things were not right that what they were doing wasn't right her instinct knew and that is very interesting to me because i've realized that instinct your intuition is always right and your intuition your body always knows before your mind you can convince yourself of anything but your body will always make you feel uncomfortable in situations that are wrong so and always trust your instincts always trust your intuition always and yeah i am currently reading the last book educated by tara westover and i'm 20 percent through i want to finish it today or tomorrow because i am going to italy this weekend for the holidays and i want to finish this vlog before that so I am reading that and so far this is infuriating as well apparently hillary loves to read books that are infuriating but this on the other hand is a real story it's non-fiction it's a memoir about the author's life and she grew up in a very i think they're mormon yeah mormon household but i believe that not all all mormons are like this so i'm gonna talk about her household her household didn't believe in modern medicine they didn't believe in public education her and her siblings didn't have birth certificates for the longest time so yeah we're seeing her tell the story of how her and her family her siblings have had injuries growing up right and they never went to the hospital and the consequences of that they only believe in natural healing and sometimes that's not enough also the the fact that one or two of her siblings went off to college because they really wanted to get educated in in university in a college and the father wasn't obviously didn't approve also one thing that blew my mind is the whole birth certificate thing so at one point the mom decides to get birth certificates for some of her children and what blew my mind is that no one remembered the exact birthday of Tara Tara's birthday so that blew my mind but I don't know I guess some cultures don't give importance to birthdays like that but everyone d remembered a different date so they just settled on a random one so that that was very shocking to me obviously but yeah so far i'm enjoying this it's written very well and i will update you guys on my final thoughts in the hopefully the final clip hi everyone i finished educated it is 1 a.m and i'm ready to finish this vlog this is the last clip I don't usually rate memoirs because it feels weird to rate people's lives, but I'm going to give it four stars on Goodreads. I enjoyed reading this book. It is obviously infuriating because it is about abuse. Her family was very abusive, very toxic, and it's about Tara creating a new life outside of her family and how hard that was for her because you still have the effects of her of your old life you know when you grow up in an environment it's hard to adjust to new habits and new ways of thinking but i hope she is happy now and she does end up going to college she gets her degrees she, she's a doctor she gets her phd 
and when she started college we see all the difficulties she goes through because she doesn't she didn't know about a lot of things one of the things she didn't know about was the holocaust so that was interesting as well and again her family doesn't know her age which is so weird but knowing that people like this exist people who don't know anything about the outside world outside of their home is very sad anyway i am done i have read three books and i think it went super well i've had two four stars and one three star i think it went better than the dua lipa vlog honestly and yeah the conversations was with friends was okay i did end up starting the show but i dnf'd it after two episodes i forgot to mention that but yeah I stopped watching it. That's it. I'm gonna go to bed now because I have a travel day tomorrow and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Well, that's my life. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I hope you enjoyed it because I know I did.